Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of My Quarter Life Crisis. Now, I really want to know, have any of you watching this ever wanted to be a YouTuber slash social media influencer? Because according to my poll on Twitter, 79% of the 81 people that voted have wanted to be a YouTuber at one point or another. And I am definitely a part of that 79%. This is going to sound a little bit awkward, but I've been trying to make it big on YouTube for over 10 years now. And clearly, it's not exactly working. But I mean, I'm fine. Now, I started posting YouTube videos in 2009, so you can just imagine how many videos I've made since then. And throughout the years, I've had a few videos blow up and get a lot of views. Not to brag or nothing. But unfortunately, none of those videos really helped me gain any traction. And I already know the reason for this is because I don't have a niche. My channel isn't about art or tech or fitness. My channel has always just been about me. So basically, what I have to do now as a YouTuber is sell myself to the viewer. Because when you think about it, people aren't coming to my channel or watching my videos because they're gonna get something out of it as far as like learning something or watching someone do art or learn about new tech. Since I don't have a niche, the only reason that people are gonna wanna keep watching my videos is if they actually genuinely Really like watching me. Okay, ew, who likes this? <laughs> but if I'm gonna have to sell myself to the viewer to make them actually wanna keep watching me, then what better way to do that than with a little bit of this? <laughs> if that doesn't make you wanna keep watching my videos, then I don't know what will. And if you're wondering if I'm out of breath and sweating right now, no, you're out of breath and sweating right now. Now I know what I'm trying to do as a channel that doesn't have any specific niche seems impossible. Trust me, I know this. But there are actually successful YouTubers out there that are doing the exact same thing. Emma Chamberlain, Ryan Trahan, Kelly Wakasa. What do all these YouTubers have in common? They make videos about literally anything and everything. And if you look at my channel, none of my videos have any goddamn correlation at all. TikTok houses you won't believe are real. Strangers play fear pong. My emo phase went viral on TikTok. You see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. None of of these videos have anything to do with each other except for one common theme and that theme is me now you might be thinking to yourself, why don't you just pick a niche and just make it easier on yourself to grow on YouTube? Yeah, so funny story about that, actually. Um, the only thing I'm interested in is YouTube. Wow, okay, <clears throat> that's actually kind of sad when I say it out loud. See, and there's my problem right there. When you're only interested in one thing, how am I supposed to find a niche? I mean, obviously I'm not gonna make videos about like art or tech because how am I supposed to do that when I'm not even really interested in that? I mean, I could make videos about those things, but I wouldn't genuinely be interested in it. And then I would just be trapped making videos about tech and iPhones and iPads and the whole time I would be hating my life the viewers would be able to tell that I'm hating my life and you know what honestly that would just not work either wait a second I think I might actually have an idea did I just find my niche okay wait a second this can't be true is this wait can I do this guys this might have just been the epiphany I've been waiting for but I just need to clarify with you guys if this is actually a good niche that I should go into um and what it is is um Jerry surprise it's me that's that's my niche. Oh, you, you think that niche is pretty sh**? Yeah, honestly, same. I, I hate that guy. I mean, niche. <sighs> if only growing on YouTube was as easy as growing on TikTok. I mean, I've gained over 100,000 followers on TikTok in the last year, and in the past three years on this channel, I've gained 5,000 subscribers. But don't get me wrong, those 5,000 subscribers are my 5,000 closest friends, and we hang out all the f***ing time. This channel is a small community, and we all hang out and love each other, and we all have a great time. Now, after hearing all this, you may be thinking, you've been trying for over 10 years now, and clearly it's not working, so why even keep trying at this point? Here's the thing, I literally cannot imagine life without making YouTube videos. Making videos is the one thing that brings me more joy than anything else in the entire world. And honestly, if I were to just stop making YouTube videos, I would probably fall into a deep depression depression and die. Plus, I know I'm good at making videos, and when you know you're good at doing the thing that's not exactly working, it just kind of makes you want to do it even more. Plus, at this point, I feel like I am so close to finding that missing puzzle piece that has stopped my channel from growing. And once I find that missing puzzle piece, woo, we're gonna hit 6,000 subscribers. Yeah. And also, after doing this for over 10 years, there's really no turning back at this point. But okay, if you enjoyed this video and you're feeling nice and you want to help me grow this channel, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it is free. And I love you. All right, I'm going to go have another quarter life crisis. But until I see you next time, make sure to drink some water, okay? Okay.